Hey, it's Tim. Today we will see the construction and the working principle of the instrument landing system or the ILS. First, let's see what an instrument landing system means. This is the runway. And this is our aircraft which wants to land. If the weather conditions are good, the aircraft can land safely on the runway. But if the conditions are poor, the runway may not be visible, making it difficult to land. To avoid a scenario like this, the ILS becomes useful. Let's see how an ILS works. ILS consists of a localizer and a glide slope. Localizer is located at the end of the runway, which guides the aircraft towards the center line of the runway. It sends two beams, first modulated by 150 Hz and the other modulated by 90 Hz where the overlap represents the center line of the runway. Depending on the position of the aircraft, indications are given in the cockpit. So if the aircraft is towards the left of the runway, indications will be like this on the course deviation indicator or the CDI. Circle on the CDI represents the aircraft. The vertical line represents the runway center line and the dots represent the deviation. So this means the aircraft is towards the left of the runway and needs to be flown towards the right. Let's see. Flying towards the right, the aircraft reaches the runway center line. If the aircraft is towards the right of the runway, indications would be like this. But it still needs information about its height from the ground, which is given by the glide slope. Near the runway, we have something called as the glide slope antenna. This antenna sends two beams, the top beam modulated by 90 Hz, bottom beam by 150 Hz. Where these beams overlap represents the optimum glide path angle of 3 degrees. If we bring the back our aircraft and the CDI, we can see the changes. Now we have a horizontal line on the CDI, so the aircraft needs to climb up to reach the optimum glide path. If the aircraft was above the optimum glide path, indication would be like this. So the aircraft needs to descend to reach the optimum glide path. There may also be marker beacons such as the outer marker indicated by a blue light in the cockpit, a middle marker indicated by an orange light, and an inner marker indicated by a white light in the cockpit. By combining the localizer indications and the glide path indications on the CDI, Along with the marker beacons, the aircraft can be landed safely by the pilots even in poor visibility.